Hello and welcome to The Big Challenge, where we surprise teams from schools across the country and put them to the ultimate test. Let's see if this program's volunteers are up for The Big Challenge. Today we're in Hackney, East London, where our team of school staff from Homely Primary are going to need to get their dancing shoes on. I thought, yeah, this will be, this will be interesting. In just 24 hours, they've got to perfect a traditional folk dance and then perform it in front of the whole school and a panel of expert judges. The bit where you smashed into each other, I quite like that. They'll witness some proper Morris dancing before getting down to it themselves. That, no, can't do this. There is absolutely no way. Our team of teachers have to brave tired legs, injuries and some unfamiliar attire. The last time you'll ever see me wearing shorts. It's the big challenge, the big dance. So, are you all all right? Yeah. Good. I can't see you very well, though. I better put my glasses on. What do you think? <laughs> the staff and pupils here at Homely School think the teacher's TV crew are here to film the headmaster talking about comic relief. They have no idea that we're about to spring a surprise. How important is playing to be happy? Very important. Think of all the playing you do in school. Hello, hello, hello everyone. How's everyone feeling? Sorry to interrupt assembly, Mr. Ward, but I have a very important announcement. Hello everyone. Hello. Okay, my name is Amani Zane and I'm from Teachers TV. And I have a surprise for three members of the school staff today. We're going to take them away and they're going to do the big challenge. So, the first member of the team is year four teacher, Miss Botang. Oh. Come on, Miss Botang, come up and join me. Right up over here. The second member of the team is your lovely teaching assistant, Mrs. Karen Sinclair. Come on up, Mrs. Karen Sinclair. Fantastic, looking good, looking like a strong team already, I can feel it. Last but not least is going to be you, Mr. Ward. Come up over here. Do you want to know what they're going to do for the big challenge? Yeah, so do I. Run the video please and we'll all find out. Hello to all of you at Homely Primary School. I'm Kate Thornton and I'm here today to tell you about how a team of you guys can raise some serious cash for comic relief by agreeing to take part in a rather crazy 24 hour challenge. Today we want three of your teachers to learn and do a traditional folk dance and then perform it in front of the whole school in just 24 hours time. Can they do it? Will your teachers be game for a laugh? And can they raise some serious money for us here at Comic Relief? We're counting on them. Good luck, guys. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. So, the three of you are going to be whisked away by us for the next 24 hours, trained by some very highly skilled professionals to do some traditional English dancing. So, have you got your dancing shoes on? I hope so. Yes, always. <laughs> when we finish the training, we're going to come back here, perform in front of all of you, and we're going to have a panel of dance experts who are literally going to give you marks out of ten. And one of the members is going to be Kevin Adams from Fame Academy. Anyone want like Fame Academy? Re yeah, yeah. He's going to come back and he's going to judge you guys. <laughs> Let's go and get our dancing shoes on. We'll see you all later. Bye. Let's go. Bye. I thought, yeah, this will be interesting. Something that clearly the children were going to enjoy. The fact that it wasn't just me as well. Slightly horrified by the idea of the, the country dancing. It was clear that some of the children weren't exactly sure what English country dancing is. Do you want to show me what you think it might be? Uh, it might be. Yeah. It might Go be on then, show dancing. me what you think. Oh, that's quite good. I've dragged Kevin and the others away from school and brought them here to the south bank of the Thames. We're going to be meeting some Morris dancers so the team get an idea of what they need to do to complete the big challenge. So what would you say the main things to look out for when, when the team starts? Ooh, your feet, your arms, your body, just that really. So you have to, to be very well right. coordinated? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. How long would a dance normally take to, to rehearse and get right? I'd say two years to get it right. Two years. <laughs> These guys have got 24 hours. Do you fine, think, do you fine. Think it's a challenge. It's a cha do you think it's it's a challenge. can be done? Yes, yeah. yeah, it can. So okay. do we have to wear these costumes? Yeah. Why? 
Um, do, you, do you have why? to wear that? Yeah, why? why? <laughs> when Morris was dancing in the villages, every village had its own uniform or kit. Right. Our, this is our distinctive kit. Does everyone um, wear uh, belts? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, bells are pretty well Smart mandatory. <laughs> The traditional explanation is to scare away evil spirits. What? <laughs> <laughs> it just makes a nice noise. <laughs> After a basic introduction to the art of Morris dancing, it was time to have a look at what it was really all about. In honour of the inauguration of the new Lord Mayor of London, we will start with a dance from the cathedral city of Lichfield in Staffordshire, home to Ben Johnson and shrine of St Chad. But you knew that anyway, didn't you? <laughs> so, team, you've got to come up to the same standard to pass the big challenge when, when you perform in front of your school and the panel of experts. So, I really hope you're paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> as well as mastering the dance skills, one thing in particular was weighing heavily on Kevin's mind. The hardest thing is going to be facing up to the kids wearing that, that costume. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Frankly. <laughs> I don't think we're going to live this down. No, no, ever. The more familiar it became, the easier it looked. Until the team were introduced to something a little more cutting edge. Oh. You can do that. <laughs> Go round and round. Right team, now you know what you've got to do, we haven't got any time to lose. So I hope you've got your dancing feet on, let's go. We're here at the English Folk Dance and Song Society in London to learn more about traditional dance. Diana here is an educational officer and indeed an expert. She's also going to be judging our team when they perform in front of the school. Diana, tell me why you're so passionate about traditional dance. Traditional dance forms are so good for young people. They have a fairly simple structure that is then repeated. So once you know how to do some of the basic um, structures in a dance, it gives enormous confidence and it lays down really good building blocks for later on in life. Apart from that, it's whole body exercise, so you get really good sort of aerobic exercise. How are you all feeling, Kevin? How are you feeling now? Um, I mean, you've seen like the, the green sleeves this morning. Yeah. And you've Slightly perturbed, I suppose. But, you know, we'll give it a go. You're going to give yeah, it a go. Course. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant. And, and, and you, Margaret? Scared. Because you're normally quite into hip hop dancing, I yes, hear. Yes, you know, I thought I was going to be doing break dancing, spinning on my head, <laughs> anything else but Morris dancing. But, you know, I'm willing to give it a go. Karen, any thoughts from you? Well, I've got my sports bar on, so if that'll <laughs> give me some uplift, it'll do some good. Fantastic. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, team, so um, let's go and start training. Let's go. <laughs> Our team will be trained by a traditional dance group, the Demon Barbers. And after changing into rehearsal clothes, it was time to meet them and discover exactly what dances they would have to perfect for tomorrow's big performance. For as Will's demonstration looked similar to what the team had seen earlier on the South Bank, nothing could have prepared them for Hannah's clog dance. With two dancers to learn, it was down to Damien Barber, the group's leader, to delegate tasks to the team. We're going to have the headmaster doing the Morris and you two girls doing the clogs. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> it's very tiring though, I have to say. They've got to do this in 24 hours and it looks like we don't have any time to lose, so you've got to go and get your clogs on. And I need to find you some handkerchiefs, Kevin, so I'll see you a bit later. It was shocking to see what sort of dance that we do. Um, the feet, watching Hannah move her feet and, you know, and um, thought we'd never be able to do it. Karen's fears were justified from the start as she struggled with Hannah's basic foot movement instructions. Just try fall back. Forward. 
After the basics, they're introduced to a couple of trickier moves. Which could come in any order. And just when Karen and Margaret thought things couldn't get more complicated, Hannah threw in another step. You start off with your, your heel just pointing forwards and swizzle it out a little bit as you put your weight onto it. So step, heel, step, step, heel, step, and right, heel, step. <laughs> Dancing that goes on, it's in my bedroom when I'm messing around or when I go out. So I'd never done anything like this before, so it was very interesting. After three hours, the clog girls were beginning to master the endless combinations of step, heel and shuffle. Step, step, heel, step, heel, step. <laughs> well, almost. Again, three, and step, While the clog dancing slowly progressed, beneath them in the library, Headmaster Kevin was gaining more of an insight into his own particular challenge. And I'm just observing the different costume that we're seeing from, from the demo upstairs. And they've simplified things quite a lot, haven't they? The older teams will wear lots of bright colours. Mm -hmm. They'll wear reds and greens and yellows. Um, and colours anyway have sort of meanings. So green is for growth and yellow is for the sun and white's for purity. So are the hankies you know. always white? Handkerchiefs are always white. Traditionally, so they are. It's just a yeah. tradition. There's no particular reason for that. Then. No. Meanwhile, upstairs, the step heel shuffle routine was now being set to music, and Margaret and Karen were starting to improve. I love that bit. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there. Tomorrow you can come and see us with another 24 hours, please. <laughs> Initially it was like, no, can't do this, there is absolutely no way. Too fast, too many steps, but she's very good, she's a very good teacher and she's doing it really, really slowly and we're doing it step by step. So it's a little bit easier, but you know, it's still challenging, definitely. The feet go in one direction though, and the brain goes in the other. But it's, it's, it's nice, it's hard, it was hard, sweating. For the bra worked. <laughs> Alright, well I'll give you these to right, get, okay. get us started. Uh -huh. Next to hit the floorboards was Kevin and his personal Morris dance instructor, uh -huh. Will. His lesson began with grasping the basic footwork, which like the clog dancing, had tricky right. combinations of its own. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, hop. Not, not hop, but we can put a bit of height, hop, left, right, left. As it grew steadily more energetic, Will started to introduce some all-important hanky action. What's the steps completely? Right, yeah, well, uh, I can't multitask. The hands lift up. While Kevin was struggling with feet and hanky coordination, it was the girls' chance to quiz Diana on the history of folk. When you hear a rhythm, it's, it's quite natural to start yeah. tapping along, start tapping doing whatever. Feet, yeah. isn't it, really? Whether you're a musician or not, mm. you know, no, it's natural. if you hear something. Yeah, you sit and tap, mm. you know. And so the looms in the, the weaving factories would make sort of rhythms and they'd imitate the rhythms. And all the modern stuff is based on some of this. Clog dancing is part of the background history to tap dancing. Left, hop, two, three. Up in the rehearsal room, Kevin was breaking into a sweat as Will introduced ever more contorting body moves. It's two hops on, the, on your right foot. Yeah. And two little circles with your left leg. Okay. <laughs> this is where my knee <laughs> spins off. And... So if you try and stick that together, I'll okay, count Five, <laughs> six, step, kick, kick. That, I think he was great. He was really good. He just broke it down into sort of manageable bits and then put put together the, the sequence. He was very patient, actually. So, Diana, what type of dancing have the barbers got Kevin doing? They've got him doing a tradition from Oxfordshire, which is called Sherborne, which belongs to a general group of Morris dancers called Cotswold. Um, and it's characterised, as you can see, by handkerchiefs and uh, kind of spatial placing, as well as using both 
feet patterns and hand patterns. So it needs a lot of coordination. <laughs> Damien, how do you think Kevin's getting on? He seems to be throwing himself yeah. into it. I think the fitness is 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 the key to to Cotswold, and uh, I suspect that Kevin hasn't been down the gym <laughs> so much as he maybe he should have done. <laughs> Although I I felt I picked up the steps reasonably quickly. Putting them together in a sequence was difficult. I couldn't do the, the hankies. Couldn't get the hanky um, thing going properly. Although I did later on think I'd got it, but then the steps went, so it was a bit of a compromise. After a couple of hours, it all seemed to click. Or was that Kevin's needs? I think as a team, I can actually get through it. Solo, I'd find it really hard, because I just I'd lose my place, I'm sure. But unless it, unless it kind of completely erases from my mind tonight, we'll have a practice tomorrow, I hope. Well, it's decision time now. Our dance experts are finally going to tell us if our team are good enough to perform the big challenge tomorrow morning at school. Diana, let's find out. <laughs> Margaret, come on out here. <laughs> Margaret, we think you've got great flexibility and that you're applying yourself really well to this. So we actually think that you're really up for this. So we're giving you a pair of clogs so that you can go away and practice and come back and let us see what you can do. <laughs> great, well done, Margaret. Thank you. Okay, so Margaret's definitely in. Karen, would you like to come forwards, my love? Well, we've been watching you and we've been looking at your enthusiasm. You weren't too sure early this morning, were you, when definitely you looked at not. it? Definitely, no, not. definitely not. And there was an element of uh, mm. taking the mickey a bit sometimes. <laughs> yes. yeah. But having watched what you've been up to today, we think that you should be able to do this. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Yay. So, Karen's look in. after these clogs. Thank you. And uh, all the best for tomorrow. Thank I'm you very much. I'm going to be looking Thanks. forward to this. Thank you. All right. So, Kevin, step Kevin, forward. Kevin, I'm very impressed with the sweat that was on your brow earlier on <laughs> this afternoon. You've put a lot of into this, haven't you? Yeah. It's going to need some work, sure. definitely. <laughs> but right. we're going to send you off with some bells oh. so that you're not put off when you have to wear them tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, look after those. Well done. All right. okay. Well done. Just as the homely teachers were thinking of going home after their hard day's work, Diana approached them with some unexpected news. The Demon Barbers wanted to up the stakes by throwing another dance at the team. So, the ultimate test then, the rapper. What do you reckon? We'll give it a go. Yeah. Give it a shot. It's the toughest dance they'll be working on. Will they perfect it? We'll have to see if they succeed tomorrow. I'm back at Homely Primary School, a mere 24 hours since Kevin, Margaret and Karen found out they were going to dance in front of the whole school. It's the final, and by far the hardest part of their personal big challenge. The school day began earlier than usual, with staff helping to create a festival atmosphere. The team used the time for a final rehearsal. I woke up this morning with a mixture of anticipation and dread, excitement as well, uh, and looking forward to it and just hoping that we got it right, having rehearsed it, you know, I just felt uh, that, you know, it would be a real shame if we messed up badly for the actual performance. One man eager to see if the teachers could pull off the challenge was Fame Academy choreographer and judge for the day, Kevin Adams. 24 hour challenge is quite challenging. Normally if you're learning a routine, you get like a few days, three days, so 24 hours, I'd be panicking. So I can imagine what kind of state they're gonna be in. But still, it's a challenge and it has to be marked fairly. I don't know about them being nervous. I'm nervous for them, actually, because, you know, they're gonna be in front of their kids and they are a really tough audience when you're a school teacher. <laughs> 24 hours ago, three staff members of Homely Primary School had been plucked unsuspectingly from assembly and introduced to the art of English folk dancing. Could the team perform their dances convincingly in front of an eager audience? That's their big challenge. 
morning, everyone. Good morning. Well, we've got a very special assembly for you all today. You've all been donating money to Comic Relief to come here and watch your teachers dance this morning, and that's exactly what they're going to be doing for you. But just to help you along, we've got some very special guests. We've got With the introductions and opening formalities over, it was time for Kevin, Margaret and Karen to introduce themselves to an expectant audience. My God, this is it, we're on. Didn't want to muck up, I wanted to do my best. I wanted to show the kids that, you know, if a challenge is put up to you, no matter what it is, that you can do it if you try. I thought it went well. Um, a bit nervous, definitely. Very nervous, I don't know why, but I guess it's a lot of fancy footwork, so you had to really be on point. to say oh, Diana absolutely well again I'm very impressed actually getting all those step sequences and getting your balance right is really important so you've done fairly well there girls Great. like that seven okay and Kevin the bit where you smashed into each other I quite like that <laughs> I don't know if that was choreographed, but I quite like that. No, there were some good elements there. It's really hard. It's hard it, I, and I know it's hard, but you, you did, you mastered it. And to master even two steps in 24 hours is amazing. I'm giving you a clogtastic set. All right. Okay. The performance went fantastic. Um, the kids loved it. We loved it. Um, watching Kevin do his dance, because that was the first time that we saw him do the actual dance, was brilliant. And how many primary heads would risk it all by performing a Morris dance in front of their school? Well, certainly from my point of view, that was the best that I danced it. Um, better than any rehearsal. I mean, there were a few bits that weren't perfect, but from my point of view, I think, yeah, I was quite pleased. Judges have to say, Diana, what, what, do you, what did you make of that? Oh, I'm just really quite amazed. Just need to get the hands up a little higher. Hands yes. up a little higher. Just a little higher. Okay. Eight Ooh, from Diana, very eight. high. And Kevin. Well, I've got to say, it was a little bit out of time in the middle there. Oh, okay. Oh. But, oh, yes. uh, you know, someone's got to say it. But there were some good elements there. And I really like the fact, you know, you, you use the scarves, and it kind of relates to kind of modern stuff. Funky, hip-hop, scarf dancing. Yeah, right. And you were there, funky and hip-hop. I liked it. <laughs> okay, good. It's a very positive hip-hop eight. Oh, brilliant. Really good. Oh, yes. So it seemed that in the eyes of the judges, Kevin's performance was the better of the two. But it was the dance the teachers had to perfect late last night that would decide if they had successfully completed the big challenge.
I think without a doubt, the fact that you two lads can trust your dancers to look after you with backward somersaults says everything. <laughs> <laughs> Great. It's really difficult as a professional dancer to trust anyone, let alone holding on to someone that's not a professional dancer. So holding on, my cap comes off to you. Yeah. With backflips, my hands are in my mouth. <laughs> Do you know it was really, really good? Really polished performance. Really, really good. Fantastic. Well so done. they've done it. Well they done. have achieved it. Absolutely. They, they have. Well done. Well, I'm going to take up you know, dancing now, I've decided. Because I need a discipline in my life. So, yeah, it was good. Two thumbs. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Wow. Congratulations to you. Congratulations Thanks. to you. Excellent, fantastic. I'm definitely going to take up clog dancing. It was a big challenge, but loved every minute of it. You get a trophy! Yeah! The staff had completed their big challenge and the assembly had raised lots of money for comic relief. For me, uh, I'm a head teacher, so I obviously think about teaching and learning a lot. Uh, and going through the whole experience, I've definitely learnt more about teaching and more about learning. Well, that's about it for this episode of The Big Challenge. All that remains for me to do now is to thank the staff and pupils here at Homely Primary School and all our experts and traditional dancers for making this such a fun episode. See you next time. Hello and welcome to The Big Challenge, where we surprise teams from schools across the country and put them to the ultimate test. Let's see if this program's volunteers are up for The Big Challenge. So, are you all alright? Good. I can't see you very well though. I better put my glasses on. What do you think? <laughs> Slightly horrified by the idea of the, the country dancing. I've dragged Kevin and the others away from school and brought them here to the south bank of the Thames. We're here at the English Folk Dance and Song Society in London to learn more about traditional dance. Diana here is an educational officer and indeed an expert. She's also going to be judging our team when they perform in front of the school. Diana, tell me why you're so passionate about traditional dance. They have a fairly simple structure that is then repeated. So once you know how to do some of the basic um, structures in a dance, it gives enormous confidence and it lays down really good building blocks for later on in life. Apart from that, it's whole body exercise, so you get really good sort of aerobic exercise. The dance that we do, um, the feet, watching Hannah move her feet and, you know, and. Um, thought we'd never be able to do it. Bedroom when I'm messing around or when I go out. So I'd never done anything like this before, so it was very interesting. 24 hour challenge is quite challenging. Normally if you're learning a routine, you get like a few days, three days, so 24 hours, I'd be panicking. So I can imagine what kind of state they're gonna be in. But still, it's a challenge and it has to be marked fairly. 